Hey guys, what's up and welcome. If you are new, definitely feel free to hit that subscribe button down below because I just sit here and we hang out and talk about makeup. So if you're interested in makeup, you're in the right spot. But in today's video, I am going to talk about nine brands I wanna try in the year of 2019. That feels weird for me to say, 2019. I'm going to get into talking about those nine brands right now and I also have like an honorable mention so it's kind of like 10 brands but that doesn't that doesn't go I have an honorable mention and I'll put that at the end but let's get into the nine brands right now the first brand I want to talk about is Ace Beauté now this is a brand I just started hearing buzz about and people talking about the brand so I got interested looked up you know the brand on Instagram let me tell you I want to try. I want to try that brand. So this brand has lashes, brushes, and also eyeshadow palettes. Now I'm not a lash wearer. I just use mascara, so wouldn't be interested in that. And then brushes. I have brushes and I pick up brushes here and there. So maybe if I was making an order on the website, I would pick one up. But it's not the main thing I'm interested in. The main thing I am interested in is trying their eyeshadow palettes. The most recent eyeshadow palette that they've come out with is called the Flare Eyeshadow Palette. And I actually mentioned it in my last Will I Buy It video. And I think I'm going to pick it up. I don't know like if I'm going to pick it up today, but I am definitely interested in trying it out. It definitely goes out of my comfort zone as to like the colors that are in it. But it definitely isn't too far off base that I feel like I wouldn't be able to use it, if that makes sense. So this eyeshadow palette looks very interesting to me. This brand, I think, also came in a BoxyCharm a couple months ago, I feel like. I'm not subscribed to BoxyCharm anymore, but I definitely saw people's unboxings and how people were loving it. They also came out with a trio of eyeshadow palettes. And I didn't pick any of those up, but I think one of them I was interested in. So yeah, I am definitely interested in trying eyeshadows from Ace Beauté and probably the Flare palette. The next brand I want to talk about is Nabla Cosmetics. Now Nabla is a European brand and they've come out with three eyeshadow palettes up until this point. They also have singles, um, but I'm not a huge singles person. Like I don't, I have single eyeshadows, but I don't gravitate to them the most. I'm not the best with coming up with looks buying single eyeshadows. Anyway, I want to try Nabla eyeshadow palettes. I was interested in the first one, which is called the Dreamy Palette, and I wanted to pick that one up, but I just never jumped on the wall. And then the Soul Blooming Palette was the second palette, and I wanted to try that one as well, but again, I never jumped on it. Recently, they have released one called the Poison Garden, but I've seen some not great reviews about that palette so i don't know if i would go to that one necessarily i think i would more gravitate toward the other two palettes but i don't know if i'm gonna grab those two or when they come out with a new one which i'm sure that they will i am going to look into picking up one of the eyeshadow palettes from them i think they also sell brushes as well but again i'm not too invested in brushes right now because i have my staples i have enough brushes you know I mean, I have enough eyeshadows too, let's just be honest. But yeah, I'm really interested in trying that brand and their eyeshadow palettes as well. Next up, I want to talk about Colored Rain. Now, Colored Rain has singles, I believe, for eyeshadows. And they also have a couple eyeshadow palettes. They could have more than a couple. One is the Queen of Hearts. And that is the most talked about Colored Rain eyeshadow palette. It kind of resembles or makes me think of the... Uh, Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I think that's why I never picked it up because I do have the ABH eyeshadow palette. So I was like, do I really need like one that's comparable in like tones and colors? No, but I'm still kind of interested in it even though like it's been out for a while. It's, it's kind of old news at this point. But yeah, I'm still interested in it. And I'm interested in the brand because I hear Nothing but great things about this brand. I hear great things about the eyeshadows, the brand in general. So for me, I'm really interested in trying these eyeshadow palettes. Also the one that came in the blue packaging, that one got mixed reviews. 
although it did look beautiful to me as well so i don't know it's really up in the air when i'm going to try these products so a new eyeshadow palette could be put out by this brand by then and i want to try that one so yeah i'm i'm really interested in trying that brand now i'm going to roll here with eyeshadow palettes but for some reason eyeshadow palettes are the thing that i'm most excited about as of late i've picked up a lot to be honest in the past couple of months even i'm just really interested in them i like using them and creating looks um if you're interested i do put up little mini tutorials on my instagram so definitely check out my instagram if you're interested in little mini tutorials because i don't do a ton of tutorials on here so next is a brand that blew up on instagram at least for me I started following them when I saw these really blinding, interesting highlight shades. And these highlights that they have are so metallic. I should probably tell you the brand. The brand is called Gimme Glow Cosmetics. And uh, I don't know if they started with highlighters, but that would that would be um, fitting to the name, Give Me Glow. But I saw these Instagram posts and they like hold up their hand and they just like move it. And it's so metallic and blinding. I could get a highlighter from them to try. And also, I'm interested in their eyeshadows. Because again, they're really metallic, but they also have really interesting mattes as well. And really pigmented and everything from the swatches and reviews I've seen. So Give Me Glow is just one of those brands I found on Instagram. And I'm just, I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about it. I don't know what it is exactly. Their eyeshadows are also like, magnetic but you can take them out very easily from the packaging if you're into that and creating z palettes and again i'm not into that found them on instagram now i'm like so wanting to try the brand the only thing that worries me about the brand is it's expensive like i think their eyeshadow palettes for like 12 shades or something like that is like 68 dollars and that's really highly priced for an eyeshadow palette in my opinion so yes i i don't know i'm just very reserved with buying an eyeshadow palette at that price you know i'm sure i'll cave and one palette will come out and I'll, I'll just cave and buy it i'm still really interested to try the brand even though i am reserved about the price tags so i'm just realizing that all these brands i'm talking about are indie brands and not like mainstream like a makeup forever or something so i could call this nine indie brands i want to try in 2019 either way <laughs> next i want to talk about blush try which is a newer brand that i've been hearing about i think they're most known for colorful eyeshadows which for me is like ooh, like it's 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 real hard for me to get super excited about eyeshadow palettes that are all color because for me i'm a neutral girl at heart and even though i want to try color more and i want to experiment a little more with it do i wear color day to day no do i feel the most you know myself in colorful eyeshadow not particularly i've heard great things about blush tribe and i'm sure that they have like neutral options or that they'll come out with a neutral option at some point but even so i still want to try their eyeshadow palettes even if i'm a little self-conscious about it you know i want to have 2019 be the year that i push past my insecurities even if it is about colorful eyeshadow which sounds really stupid i don't know i just want to push past things that i feel self-conscious about and that's one of the things that i am self-conscious about or insecure about doing if that makes sense so blush tribe is not too expensive either which i really enjoy because it's not a neutral palette so i won't get as much use out of it yes very excited to try blush tribe at some point next year ah gotta get past those colors though next up is a brand that i just like just started hearing about in the past month so it's a very new brand to me, but it's a brand that just recently launched. They came out with a few eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks and face products, I believe like blush and maybe highlight as well. This brand is called Mavie Cosmetics, M-A-V-I-E Cosmetics. And I've been seeing their nine pan eyeshadow palettes. 
on Katie Marie's channel and her Instagram as well because she does do like eye looks every day on her Instagram stories, which I am kind of obsessed with. Um, but she was using uh, a couple of the eyeshadows from Maybe Cosmetics. And I don't know, that girl can do some eyeshadow, let me just say. But I am kind of interested in those 9pm eyeshadow palettes now. Just because, again, like I said, I'm into eyeshadows right now. Also, 9 pan eyeshadow palettes is like a sweet spot for the amount of shades that I like. It's like between 9, 8 and 9, or like 12 to 14. Usually, I don't go for big palettes. So, that's like the sweet spot for me. And I've heard good things about the quality of the eyeshadows as well. And their eyeshadow options are like really colorful to really neutral to really like smoky. So I think there's an eyeshadow palette for anybody. So there could be one for me. So I am very interested to try their eyeshadow palettes. I'm now realizing these are mostly all eyeshadow preferences I want to try. But again, what can I say? I'm interested in eyeshadows. But yes, also like their face products I'm kind of interested in. They have bullet lipsticks, which I'm not the most interested in. Either a face, like blush, or definitely the eyeshadow palettes. I want to try from Maeve Cosmetics. Next up is Certify, which is a European brand as well. And I've mentioned them in a previous Will I Buy It as well. A lot of these brands I talk about in my Will I Buy It videos, you know, my wishlist worthy products, where I pretty much window shop you know, all the new releases of makeup. Certify is another one that has not small palettes, but on the larger side for eyeshadow colors in a palette. And also they have a lot of color. So again, not the most, you know, versed in using color, but that's a goal I have for 2019. Step out of your comfort zone. And I encourage you to do the same. Um, you know, if you like color, go neutral. But yes, I want to try Certify eyeshadows very much. They look very good. They look very pigmented. And I've heard good things from some European YouTubers that I watch. And uh, yeah, so I've heard good things about the brand. I think it looks like a very interesting brand. I know it's like a smaller brand, which I kind of want to step more towards smaller brands as well in 2019. So again, Certified just looks very interesting to me, very colorful, vibrant, and I can use a little bit of vibrancy in my life, okay? So Certify, I'm looking at you for 2019. Next up, I want to talk about Dominique Cosmetics. Now, Dominique Cosmetics was started by a YouTuber called Kristen Dominique, and she has come out with three eyeshadow palettes couple liquid lipsticks and lip gloss that too i don't know i'll see a lip gloss and want to try it but it's like a random thing that happens it's not something that i look to to try if that makes sense so not really interested in that a liquid lipstick i would definitely try i love liquid lipsticks they're one of my favorite lip products other than lip balm which is kind of two ends of the spectrum and I was actually interested in her lemonade palette. There was a lot of like back and forth reviews that I saw so I could never bite the bullet on it but it was really beautiful. It had more like pastel colors in it, had mattes and shimmers and I like both in a palette. That's just my preference. Now the Latte palette which was her first palette you know was right up my alley in the sense I have those colors already. So I wasn't really interested in it because of that, uh, like the colored rain palette I was talking about. So I just never jumped on that one either. And her most recent release was the Berries and Cream palette. And it had like a lot of purple shades in it. And I'm just, I'm not the biggest fan of purple on me. I think it looks fine, but for some reason that's not the color that I gravitate towards. So I wasn't totally invested in that palette, but I have heard really good things about it. So I think the quality of her palettes are definitely there because I've heard a lot of positive reviews. So I'm sure she'll come out with another palette. She's already come out with three in the past, what, year? I'm very interested to try an eyeshadow palette from her. Will I pick up the lemonade? Possibly. But I am interested to see what else she comes out with as well. Now lastly, I'm going to talk about a brand that I've just come into not contact, but uh, knowledge that it exists in the past two days. 
So I know that's like a really short amount of time, but at the last minute, I kind of added this brand into my list. The last brand I want to talk about is called Pinky Rose Cosmetic. And I don't know much about the brand. Like I said, it's very new to me. I feel like I've heard it talked about before, but it was just like a brief kind of thing and I didn't really think about it. They have recently come out with three eyeshadow palettes, but one of them I'm real interested in. It's called the Exotic Peacock Palette. One, I love peacocks colors of peacocks you know when i saw this palette it, it it looks like peacock to be honest it has a lot of teals and greens and blues and like a couple purple which i'm okay with because it's not it's like two shades of purple probably so that doesn't make me uncomfortable so i'm real interested in trying this brand don't know much about it i saw that palette and i was interested so if you've tried it let me know down below your thoughts on the brand I'd love to know because I don't have much insight as of right now, but I, I added this brand at the last minute. So the last brand I want to talk about is the Honorable Mention. And I thought it was okay that it was an Honorable Mention. So it's really like 10 brands, but whatever. It's a skincare brand and it's also mainstream. So it's not like the other nine brands I was just talking about. The brand is Pharmacy. I have heard such good things about the skincare brand. A lot of people like their cleansing balm. I just heard a lot of good things about the brand. So there are two products I'm mainly interested from them. One is their like oil-based cleanser and it's yellow and it comes in a little pump, which I love cleansers in a pump because I wash my face in the shower most times and it's just easier for me to handle. And also their AHA serum looks very good to me. And I'm looking to add an AHA serum into my skincare routine. I'm definitely, definitely going to pick up the serum, but I, I might also cave and get the cleanser as well. So that's my little honorable mention. So I won't stay on it too long. Okay, guys, so that's the end of this video. Like I said, wrapping it up here. If you're interested in any of these brands, let me know down below. And if you've tried them, let me know your thoughts as well. Because I love, I love new insight into brands. I just, I just love learning about brands and new things and you can let me know those things. So if you liked hanging out with me, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you next time. Bye.